Ngapelo. Aden. Hey guys, Steve from Fly Brothers and today I'm going to show you how to configure the OSD on the Fly Color Raptor 390 stack. The OSD is built into the flight controller and the only way to connect is to use serial pass through through Betaflight. So I'm going to show you how that works. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to start by plugging a battery in because it needs to be powered with a battery in order to power both the flight controller and OSD in order to connect to it. I tried with just USB and it didn't do it. So I'm going to plug a battery in and a USB cable and that will get us started. Next thing I'm going to do is simply connect to Betaflight on COM6. If I scroll over, I want to go to the ports tab and show you. UART2 is the port being used for the OSD. It is cur currently set at a baud rate of 115200. Remember that number, we need it for our CLI command. I'm going to the CLI menu and I'm going to set up serial pass through now. It's very simple. My command is going to be serial pass through. all one word, space one, one uh, signifies USB, UART2, I know that's confusing, but that's just how it is, and then the baud rate, 115200. When I hit enter, you will see that it says port one already open, and then all of those uh, random characters go by. That means it's working correctly. So now I can go to disconnect, and now I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, MWOSD configurator software. Now, you might notice that I have MWOSD oops, 1.5. That's because that's what's installed on the OSD on this Fraptor stack. As it turns out, if you try to use the latest version, 1.6 it will just tell you that you can't use it because it's the wrong version so you have to use MWOSD 1.5 the link to download it is in the description I open that up and here we are COM6 is now available I'm gonna click on that and it connects to make sure it's reading the settings, I'm going to click read and you will see it connects and reads the settings and now it's showing me everything that's selected. Initially, all these other things in GPS and barometer are selected, which are not necessary for this uh, and most of those sensors are not even available. So I turned off all of these. You want to make sure that it's on NTSC if that's what you're using. You want display voltage, display flight controller main voltage because it pulls us the voltage from the flight controller sensor. Display horizon bar and everything that you select on or off will show up over here. Do you want the horizon bar or do you not? That's what it'll look like on your screen. If you want the horizon bar, you simply turn it back on and it shows you what it looks like. So my OSD should look exactly like this when I connect next time. To make sure, I'm going to hit right. And you see it writes it, and it's good to go. I'm now going to close this COM port out, and I can go back to Betaflight at this point, but I can't connect yet. First, to get it out of serial pass-through mode, I need to disconnect the power to the flight controller and cycle it. So I'm going to disconnect the battery and the USB. So it's disconnected now. If I replugged it in, I should be able to connect. But rather than do that, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the OSD and see if it saved my settings. So I'm going to go ahead and power the quad back on, and we're going to see if the OSD displays like it did in the configurator. So let me go ahead and plug the battery back in. And let's take a look. Yeah, you can see that it's exactly as I set it up. Horizon bar, mode, the uh, battery power on the bottom left, timer on the bottom right. Uh, you can set the settings in the display up however you'd like it. Just fool around with MWSD a little bit and uh, you'll figure it out. So that's my video. Thanks for watching. 
I hope that uh, it was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like to see others like it. And of course, check out our other videos on our channel too. We appreciate it. And as always, we'll catch you next time.